The variant continues to spread among unvaccinated Americans, and Missouri is a hot spot. The state is averaging more than 200 new cases a day, and less than 40% of the state at this point is fully vaccinated. And it's not just the adults either. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers has an example of a local COVID spike stemming from a gathering of kids. What happened exactly, Nathan? Well, you know, Jackson County has vaccine clinics almost every day, like this one here at the Intercity uh, Fire Protection District. They're, they're doing this a lot, and their uh, kids are now eligible 12 and up, and, and they can walk in here and, and anywhere. And health officials are now saying that kids who get the vaccine might be less at risk for getting sick or spreading the, the virus. Fewer than 40% of Missourians are fully vaccinated, and when it comes to young people, less than a quarter have received the vaccine. Ray DeLugalecki with the Jackson County Health Department says that led to a local spike stemming from a church camp in June. It was attended by several um, church youth groups throughout, um, really throughout the, the region, honestly. Here's what we know about the camp, put on by the Southern Missouri Youth Ministries in Rocky Mount, Missouri. The county says two to 300 kids attended from all over the state. They say an outbreak there is responsible for more than 40 cases in Jackson County alone. While nearly all the kids in attendance would have been eligible for the vaccine, almost none of the infected kids had taken it. According to the camp's website, masks were encouraged but not required. We have worked with the organizers to ensure that everyone who was in, an, in the attendance was made aware of the possible exposure. Um, you know, and we're at this point coordinating across several agencies across the state of Missouri to identify those potential secondary outbreaks. The camp sent a statement to KCTV5 saying they conducted health screenings in advance of the camp. A spokesperson wrote, during the week in question, there was no report of COVID symptoms in any of the attendees. Cases did not begin to surface until the Saturday evening and following after returning home. The health department calls this yet another cautionary tale. The important thing is to remember this is not over. Um, even if we pretend like it's over, uh, the virus is still out there. Uh, and if we're not actively working against it, it will it will catch up with us and cause those completely unnecessary hospitalizations and deaths at this point. And the CDC is planning on sending a surge team to Missouri to help and prevent the, the spread of the Delta variant. Uh, right now, the state has not said what part of the state that resource will be deployed to. Reporting live in Blue Summit, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Very interesting.